Rabika. Okay, Rabika, from who is the nursing staff in Apollo Hospital on 25th of June. So we had the only symptom of this. We thought we should do angiography. ECG was normal, uh, but she had also he also had mild suffocation. So any patient who has such symptoms where you don't explain the dyspnea because the echo was normal, so it's better to do angiography. Patient had a loose motions and vomiting, and he was having symptoms which were quite suggestive of something going wrong in the heart also. So he was given pentoset infusion, everything, but he was stabilized. And then we did an angiography, and I like to show you the result of the angiography. Uh, story and this you can see this is a lady is almost uh, non critical but there is a tight 80 to 90 percent stenosis in the circumflex but more important was this RCA lesion which I want to show the RCA had a when you see the first shot the RCA has a uh, something like thrombus which is there in the distal or distal segment of the RCA we gave uh, nitroglycerin and then we took the shot and uh, possibly the sluggish flow and there was flow was improved but still there is thrombus so there are two uh, so two, there are two approaches we have to do circumflex of course but we for this rca which is non flow limiting from us we thought we should keep on medical treatment with heparin and we'll do check angiography after 3 months come back to me so a uh, mild symptoms slowly uh, symptoms of angina was not clear it was only just on exertion you can see such a tight stenosis so i will give the message to the audience that whenever there are symptoms which are some suggestion Although ECG is normal, you should always not shy away from angiography. Angiography should be done. Of course, the further procedure of angioplasty was not difficult. We took a wire, whisper wire as usual, and then free dilatation always. <coughs> you never know when there is a calcium. After this, we have put a Metronics Onyx stent, which is 3.5 millimeter into 18 millimeter. Of course, precise positioning is always important. And then pre post, we dilated up to 14 atmosphere. Uh, we had a stent boost. Uh, we showed that there is some problem in the uh, that is full, not fully dilated uh, so not fully deployed we have taken a post dilatation with the 3.5 millimeter uh, balloon uh, small balloon and then went to, to 18 atmosphere uh, the final result was perfect there was some small sluggish flow which we gave nicorandil come back to me so this is the stent which we have given uh, stent uh, metronic from uh, onyx one of the good stents so uh, I would like to summarize this case along with Mr. Avtar who is the chief technician that even the mild symptoms can have a critical lesions and therefore angiography should always be done even if there is some doubt. Number two is of course putting a stent in the thrombus was not required and therefore we will treat it only with the, with the medicines. We will give heparin and we, I think that thrombus will go away. So most of the symptoms in this patient was because of circumflex and RC together because the RC thrombus must be causing flow limiting which was cleared by the nitroglycerin. Thank you very much for watching. Angiography should always be done. Angioplasty should not be shying away. Patient confidence is very important. Do the best and in a minimum time we have taken 15 minutes for this procedure. Of course post dilatation required another 3 minutes. Thank you very much Dr. Gupta, along with Mr. Aftar from Apollo Hospital New Delhi on 25th of June 2019.